California lawmakers aim to rein in P0LICE use of facial recognition. Los Angeles, U facial recognition's first blanket ban arrived in May, when San Francisco became the only city in the nation to bar police and other agencies from using the technology. Now the powerful software, which uses machine learning algorithms to automatically track human faces in digital footage and match them to names, is facing a broader moratorium. State lawmakers are considering regulation barring all California police officers from running facial recognition programs on body cameras. Other Bay Areas, taken together, these efforts, pushed by activists and politicians from the tech industry's home base in the Bay Area, constitute something not often seen in Silicon Valley an attempt to impose preemptive regulations on a rapidly developing technology. From social media to smart speakers, technological innovations have upended entire industries and changed the fabric of everyday life, with minimal public debate beforehand and sometimes significant unintended consequences. What makes facial people don't expect to have their identity, their location and who they associate with locked every time they step outside and walk down the street, said Matt Cagle, an attorney for the Northern California chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union, which has been a key part of the coalition pushing for stronger regulation. That's the kind of the state measure, Assembly Bill 1215, would ban law enforcement agencies across California from using any biometric surveillance system U which includes software that would identify people by tattoo, gait and other individually distinguishable physical characteristics U in real time on police body cameras or on footage collected by those cameras. After passing the Assemblyman Phil Ting, the lead author of the bill, sees it as a necessary follow-up to his 2018 legislation requiring law enforcement agencies to release body camera footage within 45 days of incidents in which police kill or seriously injure someone, or any incident in which police shoot their guns. Body cameras were deployed to build trust with communities, to build more transparency and more openness, said Ting, a San Francisco Democrat. It really was not, the bill states biometric surveillance is the functional equivalent of requiring every person to show a personal photo identification card at all times in violation of recognized constitutional rights, regardless of consent. It runs the risk of formal opposition to the bill has come from the California Police Chiefs Association, which said during an assembly hearing that prohibiting the use of biometric surveillance systems severely hinders law enforcement's ability to identify and detain suspects of criminal activity. Comparing images, Ting says that he is unaware of any police departments currently using the technology in concert with body camera footage. In a statement, the Los Angeles Police Department said it does not use facial recognition technology in the department, though it has been used in limited instances in joint investigations with other agencies. The Los Angeles Sheriff's Department has conducted small pilots with body cameras but has not deployed them widely. But the department, comparing suspect images against a database of Los Angeles County mugshots to surface possible persons of interest has proved valuable in solving crimes, said Sabatini, who drew a distinction between how it's used today and its potential risks as a surveillance tool in real-time deployment. Surveillance needs discussion, Sabatini said. We should talk about it. Skeptics say the risks inherent in facial recognition software far outweigh potential benefits. There's the problem of false positives. Researchers have sh the potential real-world effect of relying on unproven algorithms to identify suspects came to life in San Francisco in 2009 when a false positive from an automated license plate reader algorithm led police to believe a woman named Denise Green was driving a stolen Lexus. Green was stopped by, but even if the software were perfectly accurate, civil libertarians say that allowing police to check the identity of any passersby without consent constitutes an invasion of privacy and undercuts current California laws on the right to anonymity in public. Their worst fears are already playing out in China, where the government uses facial recognition equipped surveillance systems to track and target Uyghurs, a largely Muslim minority, and maintain a social credit system that ranks you and blacklists you residents based on behaviors such as smoking and jaywalking. Without going to those extremes, 
use of facial recognition by American law enforcement nevertheless runs the risk of drifting into uncharted waters. Claire Garvey, a police body camera connected to a facial recognition system could theoretically allow officers working crowd control at a political protest to check protesters for criminal records or simply log their presence. In London, the, we have this idea that law enforcement can't search you and can't demand identification unless you are suspected of wrongdoing, Garvey said. But if everyone who, unlike some states, Drop, 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 drop,